Hi, my name is Lina from Lina's Healing Haven. Thank you for coming to watch this video. So today, we are going to channel Mother Mary. And interestingly, um, there have been um, a whole series of new um, downloads for my app, Lina's Healing Haven, which is on both App Store and Google Store. And because one of the welcome gifts um, I offer to people who download my app is to actually tell them who the spirit guides are. And I noticed that um, for quite a long string of new users who download, um, when I check in to see who the spirit guides are, uh, I keep getting Mother Mary, which is unusual because um, even though Mother Mary is a very well-known figure, um, I would say only about 20% of the people I encounter have my Mother Mary as one of the spirit guides. So to have a long string of um, people who have Mother Mary as a spirit guides um, is something which is statistically um, unusual. And I checked in and apparently Mother Mary has been sending her people to me because of um, the fact that we have already um, planned for today's video to be a channeling of Mother Mary. So basically she wanted to speak to her people directly. That's why she keeps sending people to download my app so that um, um, they'll be able to receive this video when it comes out and to be able to hear Mother Mary talking to them, okay? So I'm going to start now. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Hi, my children. I'm so happy to be able to do this segment for all of you and I'm very very thankful to Lena for being able to provide the space for me to talk to all of you my dear children. So I have been around this world for many centuries and I know the humans inside out. I'm like um, Earth Mother Gaia who loves all of you dearly and sometimes I wish that I can do more for all of you because it pains my heart to see any of you suffer, to tear and to fear and to hold despair in your heart. My wish is to be able to install more love energies into this world so that all of you can deeply feel me in your heart and know that you are always loved and always cherished and that you are deeply deeply acknowledged and appreciated by me so for today i would like to just share a little bit about compassion and not compassion for others but compassion for yourself you see a lot of us have grown up learning that we are unworthy that we need to give away a precious part of ourselves so as to satisfy other people's needs and to fulfill the expectations of us. But all of this is wrong. There's no way for us to make another person happy if we are not deeply happy ourselves. So it is very important for us to learn to develop self-respect and self-love for ourselves. But compassion is also another important quality that we need to develop in our hearts. Because compassion is the understanding that we are precious and that we have the right to true and meaningful happiness. And when we are compassionate towards ourselves, we learn to be able to spend time and energies taking care of ourselves in the most meaningful way. Not by pampering ourselves by going for retail therapy or going for massages or even going for holidays. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with all of that. But compassion for ourselves refers to the little moments, the invisible moments that nobody notices. But if you were to um, to, to um, put more importance on such moments, you find yourself slowly growing in energy day by day and to be able to hold yourself in higher regard and to learn to laugh, you know, 
at the smallest things in your life because you know that you are loved and that you are important and that you are here to do great things. So how do we be compassionate to ourselves? There are five ways in total. First, read a lot and you have to choose good books. Books which has been recommended in this video series such as Louis Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life or Brian Weiss, Only Love Is Real. Reading books like this will allow you to develop new perspectives of how to view yourself and of life in a way that you will learn to become happier and to place greater emphasis on things which are really important. So reading books are a good way to elevate your perspective about everything so that you can learn to devote limited and precious energies onto things that really matter. And for those of you who are truly not bookworms, it's perfectly alright to also listen to podcasts or audiobooks or even watch um, inspiring videos online. All of these are good alternatives for books as well. Second, please eat well. A lot of people tend to take um, food as comfort rather than nourishment for the body. And then you end up eating more junk food and snacks than is good for yourself. But the old adage, you are what you eat, rings very true. And if you were to um, devote at least one meal a day, eating a balanced meal of, um, of as many colors as possible and of the right portion size, you will find that you will feel a lot better about yourself and you have a lot more energy to do things and also to make decisions that will benefit you. So please start to eat well from now on. Third is to drink more water. Um, the minimum amount of water that all humans need is 2.5 liters. But depending on your physical health, some of you may need as much as 7 liters a day. So I would like to encourage you right now because I'm holding the energetic space for you to close your eyes and to ask your body how many liters of water do you need a day? Please do it now. Have your eyes closed? Ask a question. And the number you got, that's the amount of liters that you require every day. Please stick to this number as a minimum from now on. Water is a source of life and water is how your body detoxes so that it can maintain its um, vitality state. So it's very, very important to, for you to be able to drink this amount of water every single day. But, um, fourth is about friends. All of us need friends whether or not you are sociable or, um, or outgoing. So it's not about having um, a great number of friends. Even just one friend is sufficient if this friend can offer you unconditional love and support. So if you have at least one or such friend, then you're in good hands. And please do not um, worry about bothering this friend whenever you need someone to talk to. Friends are there for a reason. And um, since you have this friend who can love you unconditionally, please um, do not hesitate to call this friend or to text this person uh, whenever you require uh, an understanding and, and non-judgmental listening ear. For those of you who have not found such a friend yet, please ask the universe to send you one. And on your part, please take the effort to engage in uh, activities that will, that will help you to create um, new friendship networks so that you may um, have the chance to meet truly good friends. No man is an island. This is a very important saying and it's perfectly true. Um, if you are always isolated and disconnected from the outside world, it's very easy for a person to fall into depression or to hold on to unhealthy beliefs that um, that they have no way of releasing because there's no one um, there to tell you, hey, that's not the way to think about yourself. Or, hey, maybe it's time for you to look at things in a different way. So we all need such a person to challenge our beliefs so that we can constantly stay grounded 
and be in touch with reality in a way that's good for us. And the last one, please pray. Praying is a way of creating a stronger connection with the divine. And you don't have to worry whether your prayers are being heard. I can assure you, all prayers are always heard. It's a matter of whether the divine feels that it's appropriate for the prayer to be answered. So of course, as you develop more compassion for yourself, you will start to um, create prayers that are truly beneficial and for your highest good. And these are prayers that the divine will always answer. But if you are um, always um, inward looking in a very narrow and judgmental way, you will tend to ask very um, ludicrous prayers that the divine has no way of answering. Because to answer such prayers would be to indulge you in your ego and your tendency to believe that the world revolves around you. So if you are able to practice um, the previous four uh, ways for you to be more compassionate towards yourself, you will also start um, sending prayers to the divine, which are truly for your highest good, which the divine will um, be able to answer um, in good time. So these are the five ways for you to develop more compassion to yourself. It may seem very simple and it may even seem um, irrelevant to your emotional state if you are suffering right now. But I can assure you that um, these are the most direct ways of taking care of yourself. And a lot of that has to do with physical health. And when your body is in good shape, it will create um, a constant and healthy flow of chemicals that will also put your emotional and mental and spiritual state um, in a, on a good uh, level as well. So um, the one last thing I'd like to say is for you to understand that even though I'm always um, associated with um, Catholicism, but you do not need to be a Catholic in order to connect with me. Take me as your Divine Mother. I'm always here for your highest good. And as long as you uh, wish to connect with me, I will always send you all my love and all my wisdom. And I will always pray that you will be able to fulfill your highest potential and see yourself as a God's child as uh, what you truly are. So please feel free to talk to me whenever you feel lonely or misunderstood. And be rest assured that I will always be there to listen to you and to send my love to you as well. So I'm going to end off here. Thank you and take care. So that was Mother Mary. And as you can hear and feel, she's a really motherly person who is filled with lots of love so um, i hope that her tips for you to develop compassion to yourself will be um, useful and i hope that you'll be able to apply them so i'm going to end off here for the next video um, i'm going to channel archangel michael she he is one of the uh, most powerful angels um, in the divine so i trust that it's going to be a powerful video as well and right now, he's telling me that he will also be sending some healing energies in the video. So, um, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, and I hope you don't miss it. So, please stay tuned for that. And for now, I'm going to end off the video. Thank you for watching and have a good day ahead. Bye.